Hello, hi, it's me, that divination witch. I hope you're doing well. I'm back with a witchy video and welcome. Welcome to my safe space. Any question you have is not a silly question. That's the point of my channel. I try and help other people. And if you've got a question, I'm trying to work through them all as best I can. So put it in the comments, DM me, whatever you, you feel comfortable doing. Today, I'm answering one of your questions that has been asked of me more than once. And that is... Can you work with other deities when you work with Hecate? So without further ado, let's get into it. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Sarah and I go by that divination witch online. Uh, I just share my journey. I share things I've learned along the way and I just try and make everything down to earth and practical and no nonsense. So if you like that, please hit subscribe. I've also got a link tree just below where I've got an Etsy and a Patreon. If you're interested in getting a reading from me, I'd be so, so grateful if you could check it out. Thank you. Yes, this question has been asked of me more than once. So if you work with Hecate, can you work with other deities? The short answer is yes, of course. <laughs> and I could just leave the video at that, really. But I suppose the reason why people ask it is because they want to know. They want to know more information than just a yes or a no. Hecate, of course this is some of my UPG, but she is the divine feminine. She she is, you know, known as this dark goddess as well. She's a goddess of witches and witchcraft, sorcery, the dead, the liminal space, all these things. But when you break it down, she's the divine feminine. And she's also known as the torchbearer, the light bringer, and a guide. And she guides people to where they need to be, whether that's in life or death. To my knowledge and in my experience, when it comes to spirituality, Hecate may reach out to you to help you on your spiritual journey and to guide you where you need to get to on said spiritual journey. And that could be to a specific deity. It could be to a specific path. Or it could be to a specific religion even, or or whatever. It could be to your ancestors. It could be any anything like that. It could even be helping you find information on her, like guiding you to my channel, guiding you to certain books, to certain witches or pagans and other people. She guides you to what resonates with you, who resonates with you, and what you need to learn. Okay, because she is very much someone who wants you and me, but us, <laughs> she wants us to grow, to learn, to learn our own intuition and to grow of our own accord and to step into our own power. And I guess that's why she's often known as the left hand path sort of deity, because the left hand path is more about owning your power and treating yourself as a god or an extension of god you know because i suppose we all are in a way all living beings to me at least i see I'm, i walk the middle the gray path and i kind of do uh, i see right and wrong in both sides but i do agree with that that we should treat ourselves with respect and care and love because if we don't do it for ourselves who else will therefore heck it ain't is not a jealous god. She's just not. She she just isn't. <laughs> it's in her very nature to help people get to where they need to be and to share and to help people grow. She shares knowledge. Uh, she wants her people, like me, maybe you, to share their knowledge, to help each other grow. You know, she's brought friends into my life that I never would have met if it wasn't for her people who are like-minded we share our experiences and sometimes the synchronicities i'm like what <laughs> you know people who i never would have encountered if not for hecate and that might have happened to you too you might have noticed that as well she is so kind caring loving that of course she doesn't get jealous or anything like that of other deities i think this question comes up a lot because of religious trauma and whether or not you were from a strict religious background or not, it's still ingrained into us, I feel, as a society, uh, that there's one God and that God is jealous. At the end of the day, even if you were, say, a strict Christian or whatever, your, your Bible acknowledges that there are other gods. Because isn't it 
put no other gods before me for I am a jealous god something like that that to me is a bit toxic (laughs) it's like getting in a relationship with someone who is paranoid about all your friends uh very clingy and needy you know that's toxic and narcissistic uh but I don't think Yahweh not since I've gotten to know him a bit actually and talk with him myself a few times I don't think he's like that. Truly, I don't. That's the human conditioning of religion. You know, it, it's got us like this. And it's built into our modern culture, whether we like it or not. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of deprogramming for us as a collective to do. And I don't think we can do it as a collective because there's so many religions still on the go and so many millions of followers of these religions that are so devout in them. And some have extreme beliefs. We can't get rid of things like that. Uh But it doesn't mean, because that's mainstream, that that's right and that's the way heck it is, because she's not. She's definitely not that way. Uh, And as for her getting along with other deities, I have never known any other deity be so understanding as her. And I feel like it comes with the territory because of her being a guide, and I've said this before, I'm sure, but because she's a guide to the living and the dead, she has to guide lost souls. Some of those lost souls are lost for not nice reasons. And I've had a taste, just a little tiny taste of what she deals with. And she has the patience of a saint. Like that's the same way I'm from. Like she has such divine patience. I could never. <laughs> People, whether they mean to be or not, can be very rude and very very obnoxious and very destructive. If someone's in a bad way, uh, not just, I, I don't mean that they're a nasty, violent person or anything like that. Just saying if you, you're low on your mental health, for example, uh, if you're feeling really down, feeling depressed. I mean, depression's a beast. It's horrible. It's horrible to suffer with. You can never see a way out if, if you're feeling that way. There is no happiness. There is no silver lining. She has to deal with people like that who don't want to be guided, who are not exactly nice, who are not exactly in the best frame of mind. She has to have the patience and understanding with all sorts of people, as well as those people who are maybe violent and horrible (laughs) as well, of course, you know, but even your average person who's feeling low can't see the good in things she has to deal with people like that and 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 help them and help them and she does so her being that understanding and dealing with so many people from so many backgrounds and walks of life with different issues she can work with any deity i've never known another deity like it people say you know because of mythologies Sometimes deities clash. <clears throat> they can clash. Of course they can. I mean, I think of Loki and Balder. Uh, that's the first ones that came to mind. Loki, in the mythologies, got Balder killed. So, you know, Balder would would not be very happy to see Loki, you would think, wouldn't you? But Balder is a light god and Balder is kind. And you know what? Even though there's some animosity between them, uh, they get along if it's for the benefit of their person, their human, their practitioner, whatever, you know, uh, the civil per se. There might be a bit of awkwardness, but they're civil. And I feel like that's the case with most deities. But when it comes to Hegede, to my knowledge, she hasn't really had too much beef like that <laughs> in the mythologies. She's she stood up to Zeus before. She stood up to Hera before. It depends on the myths because there's that very many different versions uh she's fought for people but at the end of the day she gets along with everyone it's even said in the myths that zeus feared her i mean i don't feel that that's the case i feel like they're just civil in respect i think it's less fear more respect you know she she will put up with a lot uh and that doesn't mean she is a pushover of course not but she's above all of this. I've said before, I have had her and Loki in the same room, <laughs> you know, and Loki is Mr. Silly. He, he can be very silly and Mother is normally pretty serious. So she has a, a sense of humour when she wants, you know, she's not pulling pranks on people and silly 
things like that. <laughs> uh, she's mature, let's say. Loki has a mature side to him too, but he is chaotic. It's his nature. There's never been an argument, a bad word, a clash, uh, a horrible feeling or anything. She really understands. I mean, she's. I've had her working with angels, demons, deities, ancestors. I mean, my own grandma, bless her, who is passed on. She was at first, in spirit form, I'm talking, she was at first afraid of Hecate because she didn't know who the heck it was uh, and was like, oh, who's this woman? But Hecate had patience with her. And honestly, now, if my grandparents come through, it's just like, oh, hello. You know, it's just, it is. Because that's the way Hecate is. You know, she she's a people person, believe it or not. She is a people person. <laughs> she really is. Uh she may be the silent type sometimes, she may be serious, she may have harsh lessons sometimes, but that doesn't mean she's nasty, that doesn't mean she's angry or peed off or, you know, manipulative. She's patient, she's quiet, she lets people get on with it, you know, she's very much rise above it. Like a lot of the issues I've even gotten into, she's just like, Sarah learn when to keep your mouth shut just just let it go let it go i keep being told let it go it's me that can't let things go honestly some of the scaremongering that's out there about her the reason it is is cause she doesn't she doesn't care you know she's not bothered what people say about her because she knows the truth and the people who actually follow her and get to really know her they know the truth too no amount of calling her a demon is going to make her a demon at the end of the day, she's just like her. It's like I can see her in my mind now going, hmm, so what? <laughs> Actually, put my hood up and do a more accurate representation. It's more. Oops. And. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I hope it answered the question for you guys because I've been asked this so many times. So for anyone who's interested, no, she's not bothered. Work with whoever you want at the end of the day. Uh, just show her respect and you'll be fine. I feel as well, just to finish off quick, people ask this because when you first get to know her, because uh, of the fear mongering online and because she can be the silent type, people think, oh, have I, have I cheesed her off? Have I upset her? No, no, you haven't. It's just the way she is. Yeah. So if you've got any other questions, put them below, hit me up, uh, I'm happy to help. <laughs> so until next time, stay safe, stay witchy.